over Ted Cruz here with 34% of the vote. We've got a couple of folks joining us here, Attorney Sam Adam Jr. and uh, Kathleen Murphy, Communications Director for the Illinois Opportunity Project. Welcome to both of you. Well, let me start with this. Uh, big rally for Donald Trump Friday. Things got pretty ugly, but he is still leading in the polls in the state. How surprised are you? Uh, not surprised at all. Um, it, nothing has been able to take Donald Trump off, of course. Um, that rally, it, it, it helped him, it, it endears him to his supporters when they see people challenge him like that. Um, so I think that they actually helped him by not letting him speak. Sam, what did you make of it? Well, no question, she, she's 100% right that this is going to, to galvanize the truth behind him. Anytime you see the person that you believe in, the person whose ideas that seem to match yours being attacked or you feel that he's attacked, that galvanizes the group. Uh, people are going to come out. I've had people tell me yesterday, folks who voted Democrat their whole life, that they felt that because of what happened on Friday, they're actually going to come out and vote for Trump just because they didn't like how he was treated. That, that seems to be the theme coming out of all this that, that he's capitalizing on. Mm -hmm. Sam, uh, Hillary Clinton was upset in Michigan uh, by Bernie Sanders. She's leading in the polls here in Illinois. Uh, and what are the chances that Sanders pulls off another upset? Well, I'm not going to be the one to, to tell you it can't happen after that for sure. Uh, but, but Sanders has been here. Uh, I, I've talked to a lot of people who are coming out and they're, and they're starting uh, to go to the rallies for him. They're starting to, to really appreciate the things that he is saying. So I, I would not surprise me if there was an upset. However, the vast majority of people seem to think Hillary's the one that can win in the overall election. And that's what's going to be driving this. Can she win when it comes in, in November? And, and she seems to be getting that vote. Mm -hmm. Kathleen, a big day for Marco Rubio. He's in his home state of Florida, trailing badly mm -hmm. in the polls. Yeah. If he loses, what does he do next? Do you yeah. expect him to get out? I think Marco Rubio is, is, is already effectively out. I think actually the story is um, Ted Cruz's race. If he wins in Illinois, he's been campaigning hard in Illinois. He was in five different places in Illinois just yesterday. I think the story is him. If he can have the upset, and I don't know, Trump's been pulling ahead, but if he gets the upset and he does well in the other states, then he, then you really have a hardening around the mano a mano of Trump and Cruz. 1237 is the number of delegates right. that you need on the Republican side. Right. Donald Trump, just over a third of the way there. Does he get the number or is there a broker convention? Um, I think right now, um, depending on what happens today in Illinois, um, it, he right now he I don't think he he there's anyone but Donald Trump that can get it. Ted Cruz, even with his lead, needs about um, you know two thirds of the rest of the remaining delegates. It's very hard to get. Um, so I think. I think it, it is very likely at this point to go to a convention, and that's not bad. It tests Trump's ability and Cruz's ability to build coalitions behind them. Um, so I think at this point it's, very, it's likely to go to a convention, but there's still a chance that one of them can take the majority. We will see both of you back here at 6.30 to talk about some of the local races. Thank you both. Thank you. We'll see you in just a little bit. Coming up on Good Day Chicago.